Do, 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 do. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a very special, very unusual stream. Excuse me. And with a lot of meowing. Oh, there you go. I got a, cat, a kitty. We're going to put the kitty on the camera. <gasps> He's very meowing. He wants to say hi. He's a kitty. Uh, don't you want to say hi, Mo? <gasps> say hi. Oh, look at that, Mo. What a pretty kitty. What a pretty kitty. He's on my go. Yeah, you are. He's very happy. Trust me on that one. It may not seem that way. All right, so what is the point? I'm, I'm kind of delaying here. So why am I having a special evening stream? So today I received in the mail by Amazon this item here. This is the Meta Quest 3. It's going to meow for a while. And I, I just got it, and I thought, well, I've never done an unboxing uh, stream. So I thought maybe I would do an unboxing stream. The first thing is couple things I want to say about this. One is, I already had the old MetaQuest 2, and it was just, it was okay. But I'm a sucker for the new, you know, consumer electronics. If it's under 500 bucks, this is 500 bucks. Uh, I'm probably going to get it, you know, PlayStation, that shit. I don't want to certainly use it much, unfortunately. But, I, hey, I do use some stuff. And I, I'm hoping to get more use out of this than I got out of some of my other VR equipment, which I've had, like, the I've had a PSVR as well. I don't have that PlayStation anymore, so I don't have that. But I'm not getting the new PSVR, I don't think. Until it's on fire sale, in any case. So this is the new base model Meta Quest 3. It's a small box. It doesn't seem very big at all. There's the kitty. Um, okay. And um, I'm hoping that the lighting will be okay. I'm gonna see, how will it look if we do the, the two cam? How will it look? Maybe if I lower this so the, the microphone is not quite in the way and raise the microphone up to there. And I can move this right here. All right, so hopefully you can see kind of details. I'll move this here so you can see me. The details of what I'm doing, I can kind of hold it up to this. Uh, lighting's not great in the evening, but it's fine. Let me get this over here. Right, how long have we been going? Five minutes. Just in case some people want to straggle in and see the beginning of the... Uh, MetaQuest strength. So the other thing I want to say before I bought it is the other thing is I already purchased, and this is kind of a strange thing, you might imagine. I, I It's kind of new that you can get these for all these, but you can get prescription inserts. So right now, in order to wear these, for one thing, these are by, these are, you know, multi-prescription thing, low, you know, reading glasses. These are not. So I can wear these while wearing the MetaQuest 3. But not these because I won't get a because I'll be out of focus in, in a large, it'll be distracting. These are close focus only. These are for like when I want to, you know, when I want to watch all my screens and I don't and I can look down. And it's all it's all good in focus. So I do like these for when I'm using my four screens. Anyway, so uh, with Zenny who makes these glasses also had a deal fifty dollars for prescription inserts for the MetaQuest Three. So those should arrive Monday. I hope they do. Um, so that I can, oh, wait, I'm going to put the glasses I can use. Uh, so I yeah, keep them all glasses straight. Well, I have 30 pairs of glasses. I don't know if people watch my streams regularly, but uh, I wear a different pair every day and I probably rarely do I update them. Okay, I think we're ready to start the, un the unboxing. I have, All I've done is torn off the sides, but I haven't actually opened anything. So we'll start with the sleeve. Sleeve is removed. Sleeve has text on it. Uh, I don't want to say what that is. Warning cancer and reproductive harm. Inside the box. Warning. Albertus small. 
MetaQuest 3. It's got some kind of indication. Ooh, the box very smoothly opens. Like, like, there's a, there's a wisp of smoke, steam of some kind. No, probably a smoke. And what it says is scan to start. And because I already have an iPad and it has an Oculus app on it already, my guess is that would work. But we're going to pretend we don't. I think there's a way you can start this up without uh, without a phone. But we, or we might try the phone this way just to see if it's better. So basically all the boxes is this instruction to scan it. A couple uh, very basic um, pictograms on how to put it on. The two controllers, which are very small, and the unit itself. So we're going to take out one of the controllers. It's, it's nice. It's got a good weight. It's got a little fascinating thing on it. It's got a little tag on it. This always means, uh, well, I happen to know this means, you know, the battery's in there. And now the battery's active, I think. Hmm. The same for this one. Yeah. A little light came on. Okay, very comfortable and light, and yeah, easy easy to, to pick up and hold. Some of the others where you're putting on the strap and things like that. Yeah, the good thing about the ones with the strap is you can do this with a controller. You can open your hand, and since it's strapped on, it's not going to drop anywhere. Whereas these, you know, you, you put this on the wrist so it, if it falls. But obviously the games have to be oriented towards making sure you're always gripping. Now these also, I believe, have sensors for these fingers and things like that, and a very sensitive trigger there that you can also do feedback. It's pretty cool. They look great. I mean, they're very kind of futuristic and simple, but still cool looking. Okay. There is something you remove here, I believe, with some kind of accessory in it. It's beautifully packaged. And, boy, oh, it's also sleeved. There's a sleeve. This contains a plug, ground plug, and a... This would be a charging cable. Now, hopefully it'll be charged enough that we can at least hook it up to the network. This is not a cable that you can use to hook it up to your PC. And all it is is a, is a basic wind, a C cable. And I, ha I have plenty of C connectivity. I mean, I have a C charger cable right here that's a lot longer than that. So if it's not charged up, but my guess is it probably is charged up a bit. So the only question is, should we try to scan it on my iPad? Or should we try to start it up and see if it gives us instructions? I think let's try Let's try to start it up. Either it'll give us instructions and tell us what to do. Hold on, I'm checking out some of the strings here. Okay, no. No. I just want to look at the thing here. There's that front button there is the power button. And you're supposed to spread these out and kind of over. All right. Okay. Oh, no. There's something here. Do, do. Oh, it's got some pictograms. I think basically the same thing is, which is if you don't wear glasses, which hopefully I won't once I get the inserts, that you don't need some this special extra thing here. Okay. And there is a... If you look on here, you see there's these these uh, plastic covers and lenses. Don't don't put those. You know, remember to take those off because otherwise you won't look good. All right, but don't touch the lens. Don't touch them. Careful not to touch that. Yeah, somehow these things slide on. I think so. That will be interesting because I don't really see how the lenses are going to attach. Okay, now is this your, okay, these can be kind of stretched apart. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, that kind of, and that tightens it. Okay. And those are there. And it's showing buttons or releases here. Positional things. Oof. Don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. 
Uh, okay. Power button is which side again? It said somewhere on one of these little pictograms. The upper one on this side. All right. Well, I'll let you know if I see anything. Okay, I see a three-dimensional meta. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the cable, which would let you see what I'm seeing. I see the three-dimensional, uh, you know, meta face uh, Facebook thing. Oh, let's see some bright flashing lights. Okay, can I can see my room and my hand, which is cool. Okay, it's telling me to take these out and grab them. Wait a minute. Put them in the right hand. Okay. And it's showing me through my screen. I can actually see my screen there. I can see my TV. I can look around. But there's also a virtual screen with dots on it, which you guys aren't seeing. Select my, my language. Adjust the straps securely around my head. I think they're reasonably good. For now, at least. Tilt the head sort of forward to the back. Tilt the covers. You can see the, the screen clearly. You know, I'm going to try it as it is, but obviously that's good advice. Adjust the lenses. Turn the wheel at the bottom of the headset until this text is clear and comfortable to read. Hold on one second. The wheel. Is it this wheel here? This side here? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. I don't really see much difference. Okay, I'm 63, so now it's saying 63. So let's try 63. It seems fine. Choose how to connect to Wi-Fi. Enter Wi-Fi details on your headset. Is nobody chatting, by the way? No, good. Uh, how to connect to Wi-Fi. Enter Wi-Fi details on your headset. Type your password using the controller. That's how I want to hook up. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's actually... Okay, got it. I don't think you guys are seeing any of this, which is good. Because I don't want you to see my password. And I'm just going to double check real quick. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're not saying this is kind of boring for you, but in a minute, I'm going to just, all I'm going to do is turn on the password, is put my password in and, um, Okay. Oh, and there's a keyboard that pops up. Okay, so. Okay, obtaining IP address. So, connected for over a second. I said, can't, get, can't do anything. I, I'm pretty sure one of these things is that it's going to want to continue quest in the mobile app. You said use the mobile app to complete the next step. Plug in the headset. Plug in the headset to what? Your headset will play a sound when the update is complete. It is showing a bar at the top that says updating to latest software four minutes remaining. So I believe what I'm going to do is plug it into the mains. Now this is pretty cool because unlike other VR helmets that you have to take off to do anything at all, this has decent cameras. They're not amazing. They're not perfect. The heck? Oh yeah, I just got that. Where's the red one? 
colors aren't just right, are they? Where do I put it? It fell down. Give me one second here. All right, so what we're doing here is we're plugging in the headset. We're going to take this off. via the USB-C just to keep it charged while it's updating. And I believe that's going to be here. Um, uh, so that's, I believe it's interesting. That's where the USB port is right there. So it's charging now. Did you? You better not have. I don't think, there's no way you could have because there's no, um, yeah, you didn't. there's no connection between this thing and that computer that's streaming you know what i mean there's no normally there is a cable that you can get in which case i would have been worried about it um uh, um because there is a mode where you can have the output of this go to there but this wasn't even hooked up to the internet until i hooked it up till i typed my password in so unless i'd said it out loud while i was typing you wouldn't know what it is but good try though what do you want well anyway there's a cat back there so, okay, so it's now charging up. It really, really, really says, oh, you need to go to the app, which I have already installed on my big fat iPad over there. I'm pretty sure. That's the cat. Mo, are you, what are you doing, Mo, over there? What's he, he's like right, he's right there. He's like providing cat content. But the great thing about it is, is everything it says is, is it's light. It seems really, it feels really thin. It's got these cool, like like three things there with, with stuff going on. It is a nice design. I like the kind of the cutout for the nose and how it's designed. It's very similar to others, but not exactly the same. This this thing normally kind of goes up and down, but for this, you kind of set it where you like it. This this joint here, this curved joint. And then you've got to set, I got to figure out exactly what the tightness is, where it's not too tight. Um, but unlike, like, the, like, okay, so let's have a little, we're going to play a little game here. While this is updating... Okay, I think it's rebooting after an update. I want to show you guys something. It might be of interest. Yeah, we'll come over to my house and type type my Wi-Fi password at night. Yeah. So I may have mentioned I I have other uh, I have other. Uh, uh, hell, hey, VR equipment here. So in comparison, this is the Valve VR, Valve Index controllers in black. So as I mentioned before, you got, you got to slip these on, tighten those up. And then, and then you just, you know, just the action of doing this is, is shown in the thing. You don't have to actually even have push any buttons. Because it knows what your fingers are doing. There. So, but you can't do this. You could do this, which you can't. That action, point your finger, or point your finger like that. You point your whole hand, it would fall off. The, these controls, but it, but it's huge. It's a monster compared to this is the, this is the same kind of control. I don't know what it's doing. I think it, it beeped at me, meaning it wants me to, to give some attention. And this is the Vive. This is the, excuse me, the Index, the Valve Index headset. So you can you can kind of see comparison. One looks like a daddy. One looks like the baby. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's nice. It's newer. It's a couple years newer. Obviously, it's a new design. And one of the things they've done is uh, make it smaller. But before we check this out, we're gonna have a little bit of kitty kitty oriented content. Come say hi. Come say hi. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. He doesn't want to look at the camera. All right, we're going to move the camera. Look at him then. What, Mo? What do you have to say for yourself? You're you're not getting enough attention. I think he beeped again. He's not getting that much attention. So I need to give him some attention, and then I can do what I'd like to do. You know what I mean? All right. Oh, he left. He gave us, he gave us the, the free pass. He said, I'm out of here. Meow. He wants to meow a bit. All right. We're putting this on again. 
which is the, where's the controller? I need the, the right-handed controller, put it right there. I keep forgetting it's not a problem. Okay. Pair your headset with the MetaQuest app to continue. Open the latest version of the MetaQuest mobile app. Now the only issue is here is I'm still attached to it by the power cable. So let me get my little app. But let's just try it, see what happens. I mean, you know, there, there's worse things in the world than following instructions. I don't know what it is. But. Okay, pair your headset with the MetaQuest app to continue. So this is cool. I can just do all this stuff and I can see the screen and everything is pretty clear. Well, it's not that clear, but I think I can find the Oculus app. Maybe not though, without taking this thing off. Yeah. Yeah, I, got, I can't read the text that well. Oh, wait a minute. It will get closer. Oh, okay. MetaQuest. So I'm, I'm using the MetaQuest app there. Oh, it says what? MetaQuest wants to use Facebook.com to sign in. Yes. Session expired. No, oh, hold on a second. I, I have to. It's a little hard to read in this thing. So let's temporarily take this off. Put this here. Log in. Continue with Ken Shapiro, I think. Now, do I have a meta? Wait a minute, hold on a second here. I, I may already have a, an account. I just need to check that. But I may not. Let me see. Oh yeah, I have my own account. Hold on a second. Continue with email. Maybe I should just continue. You know what? I'm just going to continue with Ken Shapiro and see what it does. Okay. I'm setting up a meta account, apparently, which you need to do for this because this is a meta product. Maybe that will work. It probably sent me an email. It's going to like, send your check your email. Your Oculus person, your Horizon profile. Keeping that. Why not? I'm setting up this meta account. Continue as Ken Shapiro. That's me. Continue as Ken. I wonder if it'll let me in with it. I haven't typed, I had to type in password anything yet but I already might have a Facebook on here okay. all right so now I need to figure out how to um, connect up my new number three with because I have the two connected what open it the method is, is optional actually anyone follow instructions in the app to pair. Hold on.
what is casting? Okay. It says I'm just supposed to follow the instructions in here, and I don't see any particular instructions. Let me try menu. I don't know if I'm even in the Oculus thing anymore, though. Hmm. Okay, now I can't find it. All right, we made it to the rest of this offline. It's probably gonna take a while for me to figure out how to get this fully thing. And then, you know, it's gonna take a while to, um, for, for it to update stuff. But maybe tomorrow we'll do more of an actual gameplay you know, on it. But yeah, I'll work on that. But yeah, the issue right now is just figuring out how to link it up with, I guess, with the app they require you to, uh, I think I have an account. But we're gonna maybe compare in some things if we compare apples to oranges with the the valve there, with some you know standard scenes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming by. That's actually the unboxing portion of the stream. There's there's no more real info to be had about about this thing here. And um, and as I say, until I get the right cable, I can't actually share the experiences, which I could on this. But when I get the cable, which is like fourteen dollars, you can um, it will output to there, and you can also anyway, yeah, you could do connected PC stuff, and I believe you can stream. All right, thanks, thanks guys. I'm gonna take off.